A Middlebrook Elementary School student is now facing charges accused of shooting another student with a BB gun. And that student was shot in the foot and not seriously injured. But tonight, parents still have questions about why the school system responded so slowly. Chris Welty has our top story. I am calling to inform you that a student was in possession of a BB gun today on campus. I want to assure you that proper procedures were followed and all students are safe. That voicemail came from Middlebrook Elementary's principal hours after the incident. The school only messaged parents that a BB gun was on campus. It was almost 24 hours later when police told KTC a shot was fired. I didn't have the knowledge that shots were fired and that's a very scary thing in today's age. Elizabeth Workman has two students at Middlebrook. She doesn't think the school system handled the situation appropriately. I really feel like we need to give as much info as possible to the parents without releasing any names because I understand that. We never want to throw a student under the bus. Kids make mistakes. Yeah, when you got a bunch of children, you know, you got to be uh, on your toes and you got to be watching out for them. As a parent, does that sort of frustrate you that they didn't give you more specific details? Um, I mean, with something like that, not real. I mean, if it was a real gun, possibly, but a BB gun, a toll, I mean... As long as they handle it, I'm fine. As for Workman, she plans to continue having candid conversations with her kids. It's a prayer for safety. It's a reminder to tell anything that you hear that might hurt someone else. Just in the last 24 hours, we've talked about it five or six times. If you see something, if you hear something, if someone else tells you something, you always tell. So going forward, we'll keep that pattern. In Lafayette, Chris Welty, KTC TV3. A spokesperson for LPSS says because minors are involved, they can't get into the specifics. The school system also cited their ongoing investigation as well as the police department's investigation as the reasoning why more details were not released. And classes will resume tomorrow at Lafayette High School as normal after an early dismissal today. A bomb threat was sent to the school. The school was swept and the all clear was given. This is the third uh, bomb threat at Lafayette High in the past two months. Here's Rob's 24-hour forecast.